Firefighting is a rigorous and physically demanding job. They spend their shifts just answering emergency calls, most notably to fight flames. But in just days, firefighters from around the country will battle it out on the ice right here in Central Florida, hosted by the Orlando Fire Hockey Club. The Battle of the Badges Hockey Tournament aims to raise funds for families of fallen first responders. So Julie is here with a couple of the players, Julie. Candace, the president and captain of the OFD Hockey Club are here, Lieutenant Bradley Shanks and Asher Blumenthal. Good morning, thank morning, you guys morning. for Thanks joining for us. us. I like that you brought your prop just in yeah. case like a hockey game should break out here in the studio. Yes, yeah, Florida, you never know, right? <laughs> right? You have to always be prepared. That's part of being a firefighter. So first of all, tell us about this club. What is this club? for people who aren't familiar? Um, so it's a group of uh, mostly Orlando uh, firefighters started the group back in 1998. Um, a lot of northern guys, you know, Orlando's a melting pot of people from all over. So guys started playing hockey, uh, roller hockey, and then eventually moved to the ice. And then about five years later, 2003, they started this tournament, which mm -hmm. originally was the benefit was a Muscular Dystrophy Association. So it's always been charity based. And yeah. so now it's one of the largest in the country. So. And so for people who, people who are going to come out to the tournament next week, where does all this money go? Tell us about the, the mission that you support. So about five years ago, we had a team uh, who had been coming from the very beginning of the inception of the tournament uh, from Canada. Mm -hmm. And they lost two officers, uh, were shot at point blank range in a patrol car. Uh, they weren't going to come to the tournament that year because it was a small department and they were working multiple shifts to cover those, those uh, personnel. And part of the therapy of moving forward, as we all know, when we lose someone is getting back to normal. And we wanted to do something to help them out. But obviously being so far away, there's always a, a financial burden to families who have lost a loved one. So we said, well, let's change our mission now to where we can raise money and help these families. And they ended up coming to the tournament. It was very moving. Uh, we do an on ice tribute mm -hmm. and the players are in tears when we discuss mm -hmm. their, uh, member and, and what had happened and and then we do a moment of silence and we have the bagpipes so it's very moving mm -hmm. but it's a way for us to give back we cut the checks straight to the mm -hmm. captains of those teams and they take them back mm -hmm. home and present it to the families what is it like to have a great time but support a mission that's so personal to both of you yeah it's a it's kind of a, a great match of both worlds right we get to do something we like to do hang out with each other, enjoy the camaraderie, mm -hmm. brother, sisterhood, and then also for a great cause, we're helping mm -hmm. our own, so. And what, do you, what reaction do you hear from the families when you are giving this support and sending that financial support? You know, and it, it's not just the financial side, but it's a way for these members from these teams to do a personal tribute on the ice for them. And, I, and the captains love it, and they, they really enjoy that aspect because that's part of the therapy mm -hmm. of moving forward when we've lost a loved one. And you mentioned therapy moving forward. There's been so much talk, especially mental health and first responders, and obviously you were supporting that. What would you say to other first responders and other people just about, you know, reaching out for help and that support? You know, part, part of the start of, of getting help is asking for help and, and not being too prideful and, and, and not addressing and getting those. You know, every department now has peer support teams. I'm a member mm -hmm. of ours. Um, they can reach out to their peer support team. They can reach out to us. Uh, we have avenues and resources to help mm -hmm. people as well in that, in that aspect. Mm -hmm. Our whole mission uh, is to lift the fallen. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't necessarily mean someone has passed away. Uh, it could be someone who's fallen down on their knees mm -hmm. because of, of the stress of the job. Yeah. And a great outlet, like Asher said, is, is coming out and playing hockey. Mm -hmm. It helps you get those endorphins going and, and, and the positive, you know, uh, energy. And, and, and the members of the club are, you know, they're there to support each other. It's a, it's a close, tight-knit family. Yeah, and for people who want to come out next week, give us all the details. This, uh, What can we expect if we come watch this? So we got some pretty hard-hitting teams coming. <laughs> we have an A division, which is rarely seen that type of hockey okay. in this area. Uh, the, uh, uh, New York's bringing their uh, PD team, the A team mm -hmm. that you see on ESPN that plays the FDNY every year. So we have a division of caliber of play. We'll have our schedule up on our website mm -hmm. at OFDHockey.com. Um, a lot of the, the what makes this us able to help these families is sponsorships. Mm -hmm. uh, we got Advent Health and Roth and Orthopedics who help us out. Um, you know the RDV, which is now Genesis, mm -hmm. uh, they help us with the ice and things as well to uh, to facilitate all this. So if they go to the website, they can get all the information mm -hmm. on that. And uh, it'll be Monday through Thursday. There's okay. games all day long. 
uh, starts Monday at 10 a.m. And then the last game is usually around 4. Okay. And, and the fans can come out. It's free to come out. Just come in and, and, and check the schedule and go to the rink that your team that you want to see is on. Do you guys need to trash talk anybody before next week? Anything like that? Uh, as, <laughs> Can we as, help with that? <laughs> as, as the host is probably more professional that we just hope everyone comes and has a good time <laughs> as of right now. We'll wait and, till the puck drops. Yes, and then I'm sure you need donations or anyone watching who is like, hey, this is awesome. How can they support this? Mission? It's not too late to be a sponsor, or if you just want to make a monetary donation, you can go to the website. We are a 501c3 nonprofit okay. organization, so all, all monies that come in that people donate, we can directly give those funds to help these families and to help you know the fallen and part of our mission. Yeah, I'd say that's one of our biggest benefits as a small charitable organization is we don't have a lot of infrastructure in middlemen. We, we cut checks, like BJ said, directly to families that awesome. come and visit. So. Well, thank you guys so much. We'll put all thank the information you. on how people can attend on our website. Thank you. Great. Thanks right. a lot.